If you've been trading part-time and thinking to go full-time, but you're not sure if it's the right decision, right time or right market conditions, then keep on watching. You want to think carefully before considering going all in to trade full time because this can dramatically affect your life. Hey, what is up traders? My name is George and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you a step by step process to become a full time trader. So make sure to smash the like on this video and if you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel. I upload new videos every single week. So without further ado, let's start with the step number one. The most crucial step we're going to start is to evaluate your experience, your strategy and how consistent you are. First, let me ask you this question. How long have you been trading? If your answer is something like two or three months, then forget about going trading full time. Would you compete in the Olympics if you have been training for two or three months? Of course not, because you would not stand a chance. You need years of training and preparation before competing at the Olympic level. Trading is quite similar. Based on my experience, you need at the very minimum two years under your belt before going into full time. That number can vary a bit, but generally it's advisable to have about two years before you're going into full time. Okay, let's say that you already have a two years experience in trading. Now, let's evaluate your strategy. I cannot stress enough how important it is to have a strategy. Not having a strategy is similar to going somewhere, but you have no idea where you want to go. You're just going to wander around and at the end, you're not going to get anywhere. If you take trading seriously and want to make money consistently, that make sure that you have reliable, tested strategy, then you can trade. Nothing really more to say about this strategy. It is just the basic, crucial factor in trading. Once you have an experience and reliable strategy, now let's talk about the consistency. If you're not sure or you don't know what consistently profitable trader means, then check out my video. It's going to be up there on the screen or it's going to be linked in the description. And then you will have an idea what actually consistently profitable trader means. Being a consistently profitable trader is what all traders want to achieve, but only very few make it. If you're not making money consistently, then there is a problem somewhere. And nine out of 10 times, it's not the strategy that is the problem, but your mindset, your trader mindset is not developed yet. When you're thinking to go trade full time, you must have money saved up to support your lifestyle. Assuming that you will be quitting your full time job to pursue trading and the trading is going to be only source of income you're going to have. If you have savings to last you only for a month to support your lifestyle, and then you're going to be dependent on the trading to withdraw that money then you're putting yourself in a very stressful situation. What if your next month of trading is a losing month? That means that you only have one month to make money. If you're thinking, oh, I have to make money, otherwise I'm out on the streets. Being in that thought process puts you an immense amount of pressure on you which would be detrimental to your trading. Make sure to have enough money to support yourself for at least six months. That way you won't be stressed if you had one or two losing months. The one of the reasons why I said to have at least six months of savings to support your lifestyle and not just one is because if it happens that you have to withdraw money from your trading accounts, every single month, so if you're redrawing your profits every single month to support your lifestyle, that means that your trading, your capital is going to stay the same. And if you're going to go through the drawdown, which happens to every trader, then your capital is going to start declining. So if you, if you want to make the same amount of money, that means that you have to increase your risk or you have to decrease your risk, but you're going to be getting less money and we do not want that. So we want to grow our account. So it's good to have at least six months worth of savings. So if you need, if it happens to, you're gonna go through the drawdown, 
you have at least that money to use it so you don't touch your your capital you don't have to withdraw your profits and over the time it's going to accumulate and once you meet that substantial amount then you can allow yourself to withdraw some money but we need to think that to constantly grow our account at least at some point until we reach that uh the number we have in our heads so for me it's different uh, for you might be different but if you have relatively small accounts let's say uh 10,000 10,000 USD, then we want to grow our account. Becoming a full-time trader is similar to having your own business. You don't have a boss, you don't have to be at work at a specific time, and you can take the breaks, as many breaks as you want and when you want it. Sounds like a dream, right? Most people dream of being their own boss and work whenever they want, but it comes at a high price. When you're a full-time trader, you must be highly disciplined. Ignore those online gurus who say that they only look at the charts 30 minutes a day and then go and do whatever they love. They can do that because they have multiple source of income. But if you only rely on trading, then prepare to put countless hours into trading. You are not getting paid hourly here. Just because you spent eight hours in front of the screen does not mean that you are making money in that last eight hours. You have to prioritize trading above all if you are serious about trading, which means that you have to say no to many things. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to become a full-time trader and what obstacles are you facing. Okay guys, this was the end of the video. This is my step-by-step -step process to becoming a full-time trader. If you find this video helpful, please guys, smash the like on this video. It really means a lot to me and helps my channel to grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. Have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video.